Hey guys, welcome back more. Let's play Wireland the Shake Dimension. I'm Calakmara, the troll reason that you are here. And in the last episode, we tackled Bamboo Village of Cliff Cliffs. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling the second to last stage in the game, Boogie Mansion. Alright. Well, this stage is actually... I've had a practice of this stage, actually. And, um... Yeah, after practicing it, it's actually fairly easy, so... Yeah. We'll see how this goes, anyway. Alright, so... Gonna move my mouse. Okay, my mouse from my laptop screen. Because if it hovers over the stop button, I might accidentally press it. So. But anyway, yeah, Boogie Mansion. This is a harder version of Horror Manor. Personally, I think Boogie Mansion is. I don't know. I thought it was a bit easier than Horror Manor. But anyway, um, the missions are: finish full the clock hits one minute thirty seconds. Beat the stage without taking damage. Collect eighty-three thousand coins. Pound down all push buttons, beat the stage's mini Wario, defeat the golden enemy, and beat the stage while using the checkpoint. Now, um, there's one thing I want to discuss about this, um, basically it's the beat the stage while using the checkpoint thing. Um, I'm going to try doing this, doing the checkpoint thing on the first run of the stage, mainly because then I don't have to do a separate run devoted to the checkpoint anyway, so. But yeah, we're shooting for coins in this one anyway, so. Yeah, there's a few coins that escaped there, but don't worry. There's plenty of coins in this stage for you to get anyway. Right, well. Well, there's a treasure chest right here, but... It's actually a treasure chomp. Now, treasure chomps, if you get too close to them, they'll eat you up and they'll drain your health quite rapidly. So, I wouldn't go too near them. For now, um... We should just leave them alone. But yeah, um... If we go up here, we should find something to our advantage. Just to kill the recapitator. Uh, right. So, if we... Just, uh... Right. So, if we just, like, uh, leave this guy for a bit, uh... So we can shake these. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, peekaboom, throw me stuff. Alright, just move, move. Nope. Okay, uh, he might die. Nope, he won't. Okay, good. Right, um. So. Let's see what happens when the treasure trump eats one of these. Alright, we get the treasure inside them. Uh, it's a ghost potion for this one. So, yeah, very nice. That's the uh, proper way to deal with these treasure chomps. Because if you just try and dash into them, they'll just eat you up. So, yeah. Um, now we can just move on. It'd be quite good if I could get the uh, damage challenge in this one as well. Then we just have to deal with the time limit as well. Right, um, so there's two mummers over here. If we pound this down, then we'll get these bags here. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we'll just grab all these. Just, just give me a second, I'll cut back when I just need to check something. Okay, right, um, I was just checking whether I pounded down the push button, and I did, so, yeah, it's all good. Uh, hang on, I need to sneeze. Um. No, I don't, okay. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, didn't work, um. Right. Oh. Okay. Easy. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. Uh, here's the golden enemy. It's a golden recapitator. But yeah. Um. Once you kill him, nothing really to worry about. Yeah. Those those spike poles there are sort of quite dangerous places where you'll take damage. So if you're going for the damage goal uh, immediately, then um, yeah, I'd recommend avoiding that. Unless you're very good, in which case, yeah, I commend you. Ugh. 
Okay. Alright, well, there's uh, another treasure chomp down here. All the treasure chests in this stage are treasure chomps, so... Not much you can do about that. Yeah, just uh, throw bombs into them. Alright, two more. Good so far, though. It's quite, uh, I'm, I'm surprised, actually. Maybe I can get this done in, uh... No, I probably won't be able to get it done in one shot. But... No, I think it's a minimum of two runs for this level anyway, so... Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Ugh, bumble frauds. I hate bumble frauds. That's so annoying. Best way to get rid of them, though, is to just throw the ball at them. Like so. Uh... Right, so, uh, what you want to do here is just break these blocks, and then you'll find a shrink barrel here. So yeah, this is the return of Mary Mini Wario here. So, um, first you want to break this block, and you'll get diamond, very nice, but the main thing you want to do here is just break these blocks, then after bouncing on these, go in here, Go outside. Um, yeah, when you go through here, you can get a bomb that you can feed to the trash jump. So we'll do just that. Hang on. Just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. I was scared I'd like blow up the bomb or something. Fail the puzzle. But yeah, magic lamp. Very nice. Really modern day Aladdin's. Sort of. But then again, like, is it modern day? I don't know. Because Aladdin came out in 1992. So I don't know. Hard to say, really. <laughs> Who cares? Let's just move on. Um, right. Yeah, I probably already said this, but like, um, yeah, I've already practiced this stage, so. Just now, actually, I practiced the stage. And, uh, yeah, this should be f this should be quite good, this episode. Efficient, if not interesting. Oh, this, uh, this room is pretty, pretty cool. So, what you want to do here is just Earthshake Punch this guy. Kill him. Uh, when you bust down this one here, then you'll get coin bags. So, after you shake those... Um, right. So, just bust all these down. Uh, Earthshake Punch him. Right, well when you bust this one down, two bandon arrows come out, but you want to raise this one, so do an Earthshake Punch. And when you pound it down again, you'll get more coin bags. Very nice. They use, they actually, they actually put in quite a lot of handy nooks in this um, area, actually, this stage. Which is very nice of them. I actually like this stage quite a lot. It's one of the, it's definitely one of the better stages, definitely well designed. Um. Right, so what you want to do here is immediately jump this way. Not do that, because that's a failing puzzle. Um, uh, just jump up these, turn around. Up these, jump under that. Complete, come to a complete stop, otherwise you'll hit the treasure chomp, and he'll swallow you up. But conveniently, there's a bomb right next to him. So there you go. Uh, there's the final tre treasure, which is a therapeutic music block. Is that how you say it? Therapeutic? Uh, but yeah, if you remember the objective, uh, pound down all push buttons, what you'll want to do is just do that. So go over there and pound down those push buttons. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm actually glad that we're gonna finish this game. It's a very, very good game. I recommend people picking it. It's it's very underrated. But yeah, the Wario Land, the whole Wario Land series is pretty much underrated anyway. But still, it's still a really great game, and I recommend it to anyone. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna do this with the um, with the checkpoint because actually. You know what, I, I, I will hit the checkpoint, because th there's an easier way to do it, so... 
yeah, it's easier to do in the time challenge, I'm sure, so. And if we mess up here, then, yeah. So, just jump from the top of that. Uh, kill this guy. Now, what you want to do here is... Jump to the top of these balls, get a diamond. Very nice. Moving on here. This is a secret that I'm sure many people are going to miss on their first time around until they see it. Basically, um, aim for that corner there. You'll bounce up, get loads of coins and two diamonds, which is one hell of a re reward. Um, moving into this area, um, what you want to do is jump up here, turn, uh, turn as you go down, jump off here, and you'll hit a shrink barrel here. What you want to do is drop into this part here, so you jump, oh darn it. Um, this isn't good. Um, right, get in there. Right, let's see. So after we get up here, jump that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I keep messing that up. What do I do? Come on. Okay. This is kind of nerve wracking now. Um, I'm gonna make that jump. Yes! Okay, great. Um, so turn and do that. Yes! Okay. Moving on. Just jump through the sewers here. Ducking every so often to avoid the things. And then keep running. And with that, you're finished! Okay. Very nice. Okay, well, there's only two objectives left, and they're both to do with the escape run anyway. So, I will meet you guys... Three objectives, actually, but you know what I mean. But anyway, um, yeah, I will meet you guys back at the escape run for the... At the Murphy Cage, rather. For the final run of Boogie Mansion. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Right, we are here, and, uh, yeah. So, this is the final run. Basically, all you really have to do is just not waste any time. So, what you want to do here is just get up these spike poles. Jump from the top. Hit this guy. Uh, jump there. Okay, um, in this can cannon area, um, what you want to do is, after blasting from this one, just go straight. There's no need to waste time with the coins or anything. After that, just head into the dash area. Um, next, what you want to do is immediately turn. Um, jump up here. Like that. Jump up there. Jump up there. That guy. Okay, great. Yeah. Just do those jumps, <laughs> and you'll be fine. Okay, no need to jump unless above the mummers, because, you know, Mini Wario is small enough to go through those gaps anyway. And with that, we have finished Boogie Mansion. Awesome. All right. Excellent. And we're only up to 18 minutes. That's so much better than Bamboo Village. Okay. So now, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this off here. So. Oh, wait. Actually. Well, yeah, I am going to end this off. But there's something I forgot to do. Inside Bamboo Village is the final secret map. Now, this secret map will take us right to the top of here. And that will be the final stage in the game. Apart from the final boss. So, next time on Wario Land the Shake Dimension, we'll be doing just that. The final, final stage in the game. I won't spoil its name, because... It's, you know, it'll be a surprise. It'll be a nice surprise to the end of the game. So yeah, see you guys then.